Let us see how the rope was cut. The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. If I cut the rope with a knife, it matches the original. Come on, Toby. We need the best nose in the British Empire on this case. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. I agree with you, Toby, that Search, Toby. The intruders entered the shed for some reason when they were making off with the silverware. The scent leads to the well. I should check it. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall. The criminals left the house through the French window. They walked to the shed 
then across to the well before fleeing by climbing over the wall. I wonder why they chose such a winding route. This hook might be useful. Small gardening tools, nothing of great interest. This old suitcase sounds hollow. It must be empty. Bags of seed. Some empty bags were recently moved. There's something glittering at the bottom there, but how can I reach it? Hmm, the bucket can be easily removed. The wheel handle is old and rusty. It seems to be used infrequently. Silverware. This is hardly a coincidence. The Brackenstall coat of arms. It appears that we have found the stolen silverware. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall.
Inspector, I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In the garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? Rather absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place, or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. Holmes, don't look at me like that. I don't know what to think about all this. We found your mistress's silverware. Oh, that's good news. You really are as clever as they say. Indeed. We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. Your ladyship? Here it is. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London Line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Do you really think they'll find it, Holmes? My secret police is better than the Yard in many ways. Here it is, Mr. Holmes. But we can't take it back. It's too risky. Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. And these are the lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide Southampton London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th.
I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Jack Crocker was in London upon the date of the crime, and he is due to depart in two days. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Captain Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. He was the only one around at the time of the murder. This Crocker, do you think... It would be interesting to meet him. Our young friend should be able to find him. Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. No problem, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes, I was informed that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. Yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why.
You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her, from when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love, particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant! You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You? And what do you know? That evening, you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right. If there was no evidence. What then? Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? Yes, as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed, anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the Shark. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. At night? It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. So, what then? So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. Now I understand why you dissected the bell rope.
Holmes, don't look at me like that. I don't know what to th Please leave my Mary alone. She's suffering. Oh, what a horrible thing to have happened. <laughs>